Do you want to see a uh, picture someone did of a certain cartoon character as Monokuma? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Alright. Total Drama Island, but it's Dog and Rampa. So it's Total Drama Island. Real quick, random. How stupid have you felt before when somebody asked you for something and you couldn't give them what they asked for? Depends. The reason I ask is because I randomly, it randomly popped in my head like five minutes ago, but I remember once my grandmother asked me if I could run to the bathroom while I think we were at one of my brother's football games or something and get her some tissue paper. So I came back with some, uh, you know, like, paper towels, and she thought I was so stupid. But I'm just like, what, you want me to get your toilet paper? And she's like, no, I want you to get me tissue paper, you know, why have the little boxes, and I'm like, we don't have those in the boys' bathroom. What? Yeah, no, we don't have those. There's no box like that in that room. None. Zero. And she just looks so confused. Yes, sir. Henry Bob. What? Wait. What? Why is this music? Because, I don't know, it's the day after the trial. Oh. I think this is a nightmare, right? Is, this, is it? Is this a dream? Is it? I don't know. Maybe? Like, I, I thought we were... The last time I saw this game, we were in a black screen as it was starting up the second chapter. Yeah, and this it just is the beginning me right of the second chapter. This. Yeah, but it didn't throw me to where I saved that. This is after that. Well, no, we'd gotten to this point. We were in the room, and that's when we stopped. Yo, Mizuno, where's your dead body at? Damn. He's gone. She, she really is gone. It's almost like there was never anything there to begin with. Every last sign of Sayaka's existence has disappeared without a trace. It's just like he said. After the class trial, before we took the elevator back up, Monokuma told us. Uh huh. Oh, I almost forgot. Since the class trial is over, I'll go ahead and dispose of all the corpses. What are you gonna do? It's okay. No need to thank me. Just seeing your delighted, smiling faces is enough. For this does. Thanks enough for me. After all, nobody wants to look at a rotting corpse every day. That can't be good for your health. Yeah. didn't even have time to mourn Sayaka and Junko's deaths. I'm sure that's exactly why he did it. It was a bad joke, a sickening dream, but I have to accept the reality of it all. I headed back to the dining hall to meet up with the others. Uh, hey guys, welcome back to Dun Dun Rumba. Also, their bathrooms are so weird looking. Like, the floor of the shower is just the floor of the bathroom. That Wild. happens in some Japanese bathrooms where the entire room is connected to one thing. Yeah, it's... I know, it's weird. I, I I actually kind of like it because it makes cleaning really easy. Wow. Yep. It means you can just spray the entire bathroom and it will go down to the drain. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. So, um... Hmm. <clears throat> oh, shit, right. Yeah. Hey, are, are you okay, Makoto? No, I'm actually really sick right now, but I'm still recording this. Listen to me! You should have took your sweet time! I was just about to go and get you and drag you back here! Sorry. So, what happened? Was your room fixed up like you said? I imagine it would be pretty hard to sleep with a rotting corpse in your path. Dude. Hey, come on. Jesus, that's fucked up, man. Why would you say something like that? My room was spotless. There wasn't anything left. Like, the whole thing never happened. I see. It must be tough staying there, knowing what happened. Why don't you just stay in Sayakara's room? Well, staying there with her scent still hanging in the air, that would hurt just as much. Plus, I've decided I can't turn away from her death. Hmm. Makoto. Um... Hey, cheer up! Getting depressed isn't gonna help anything, right? If we all work together, I'm sure we'll find a way out of here. You got it! So everyone, just try and cheer up and get back onto track. Is that honestly something you're supposed to make? Go drown in a river of gold. I hate you. Continue, sorry. <laughs> Is that honestly something that's supposed to make us feel better? 
We were already working together, and yet someone was still murdered. Anyone could betray us at this point. Now that this happened once, it's a question of when, not if, the next one takes place. <laughs> yeah, because Shayaka made your first move. Well... But, but if we work together against the Mastermind, nobody will have any reason to do something like that. Stop talking. Keep telling yourself that, and I'll be over here in the real world. Oh my together, god, I enemy. want you to slit your throat with your own eyelashes, you guyliner wearing piece of shit. Continue. Like it or not, it's not that simple. Um, but what do you mean? Are you okay with this? Mastermind seems to be much more powerful than we ever suspected. They took over Hope's Pate, which was supposed to be well defended, and then modified it to fit their desire. They created Monokuma, which seems to be incredibly advanced, and they're providing for our every need. And the cherry on top is the execution we witnessed. Honestly. Everything's been planned down to the last excruciating de detail. This is not the work of your everyday so psychopath. I thought it sociopath, my bad. To find them may be too great of a risk. So then. Then what are we supposed to do? Mierda. Mierda. Anyone who truly does, not, uh, does want to escape will just have to follow the rules. And I brought case... you murder. Murder. <laughs> Judas, no! The only option is to deceive those around you and win the game. No. No. What? Said the same thing. No what? I, I can't I, take it. I don't want to live if it means killing someone else to do it. I don't want to kill anyone else. Huh? It's because... Leon died because we all voted for him, right? It's no different from us killing him ourselves. But... If we hadn't voted for him, then we all would have died instead, right? That isn't what you wanted, is it? So it would seem. She's right! If you heap that kind of blame on yourself, you'll turn into a full-fledged masochist! Who says she's not already? Don't Fair judge enough. her. Chihiro, listen. You're not to blame. Not you, not Leon, and not Sayaka. The Mastermind is responsible for everything that's happened. We had no choice but to vote. I can't even imagine what would have happened to us if we'd refused. And in the end, it was Monokuma that old Demi killed Leon. So we don't waste your anger on yourself. Instead, direct it to the Mastermind. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially nighttime. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Cass? What? Cass? Okay, well... 1am, how the fuck were any of them in the dining hall? Wait, hold on. I got it. Entry. They were already in there. Sayaka went in there around 12 to 1, right in that range. It was after nighttime had already started. Yeah, you know. Suck a dick. The entire first trial is a sham. Oh, and one other thing. It was totally obvious before that you were trying to make yourselves feel better and justify what you did. See you, see you, don't see you, see you. That's about how much I can see you, even when you try to hide. So one of us he can't see, huh? He can only see three Toko. out of four of us at a time. Now pay attention and remember this well. No, he just can't see Toko because no one sees Toko. Oh. No one cares about Toko. The burden of judging others is a heavy one to bear. So be well aware of your actions. Order All right, and Teddy, calm down. Rely on the sacrifice and responsibility of everyone. Okay then. Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Yeah. Well, well, we can't now. 
Don't fuck with me. That piece of shit. Who does he think he is? My mouth tastes like bananas. Good for you. And so the day drew to a close. A tense, maddening day that saw the deaths of three classmates. Sayaka, Junko, and Leon. But this is just the beginning. Our despair has only just begun. Boy's life of despair. I woke up the next day to Monokuma's normal morning announcement. Then he called us all to the gym. Oh, I skipped it. What's he gonna do to us this time? We were practically frozen in fear, but Monokuma was determined to get us involved in this little game. And with his goal in mind, he began it. Okay, lift your arms up and down. <sighs> Honestly, if if anyone properly just displayed how I felt right now, it's Nagi. Just his <laughs> arms just hanging at his side, like what the fuck? One, I'd be two, owie. Three, four. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Now reach way up and bend way down. Tighten those muscles. Let's add a little strength, a little speed to those young bodies of yours. That makes me uncomfortable. <sighs> Doesn't this feel just great? Being stuck inside like this, you gotta make sure to stay healthy. You're the only one keeping I can shine. <laughs> Don't sweat the small stuff. That's my motto. But you're small and you're sweating a lot. Yeah well, I sound pretty cool just now, don't you think? Did you fall in love with me? Am I just gonna am I just to die for? Am I to just die in writhing agony for? So why did you call us here? Certainly it wasn't just to make us exercise. Just to make you exercise? Just to make you exercise? If exercise makes you laugh, exercise will make you cry! Now, if you keep doing these exercises, you will uncover the secret of the assassin's fist! Passed down for generation to generation in the Empire of Darkness, this power can be yours! Hmm? That sounds like the kind of chunk a middle schooler would come up with. Journey. Journey. It doesn't matter! It'll just get to the point, did you really call- Oh, that's me. Uh, him, whatever. It doesn't matter. Just get to the point. Did you really call us down here just to exercise? Hey, um... Of course not. You have to think I have this kind of free time on my hands. Okay, so then... Hmm. I'd like to make an announcement. Every time you overcome a class trial here at Ope's Peak, a whole new world will open up to you. Heck? You guys? It'd really suck if you had to live here forever with nothing new to stimulate you. Besides, I know how you kids get these days with your ADD and your ADHD. I gotta keep you motivated. Monica so go ahead. is gonna stimulate us. Look around all you want. Enjoy the brave new post trial world till you explode. I hate you. <laughs> With that, Monica disappeared, leaving us even more confused than when he showed up. But a new world? A whole new. Is he talking about a way to get outside? I yeah, about that. the guy's gonna let you go. That seems unlikely. Piece of shit! Well, we don't know till we look. Hey. Whatever he meant, it seems we'll have to search the school one more time. You hear me? Okay, then let's split up and start investigating! When you're done, everyone meet back at the dining hall and we'll share what we found! <laughs> you're basically a one trick pony, you know that? More like a stable food source! Now let's get moving! Seeing his words as their signal, everyone scattered. So, first of all, I know we now have access to the second floor of the school. Spoiler. Keep going. Um. And. <sighs> I don't know if we have access to anything else down here. I don't remember. Second floor is all that I'm certain about. So I know we don't have access to the nurse's room yet. I think we get access to that in the next chapter. Well, that's a spoiler for me because I've never been that far. Yeah, I know. So. My bad.
Okay, so no you know points. how with Leon you would skip his dialogue completely? Yep. Can we do that with Yasuhiro now, please? Is that this guy? Yes. If you hadn't noticed, I've been doing that. I haven't read a single oh. line of his this chapter. Oh, yeah. Thank God. Thank God. I didn't notice. Thank God. I, I fucking hate Yasuhiro. Yeah, same. I haven't read a single piece of his dialogue. Fuck him. I went and checked the, the metal hatch in the main hall just to be sure, but just like I figured, it hasn't moved an inch. Shit. Yeah, I'd be surprised if it made things that easy for us. Hey! What? Don't make that face, you look like a pussy. You want me to put some fighting spirit in ya? Well, do ya? No thanks. I think I've got enough for now. No. Well, okay. I'm gonna go look for another way out then. I'm gonna blow my nose real quick, so... Check out all the rooms that I can. Yeah, okay. It it's just streamlining us one direction. So I guess we're going there. Yeah, I think so. I like how we had to pass it to be able to talk to him. Like, how did you miss it? Am I allowed to go to the bathroom? Of course not. That's I'm not allowed new. to do anything besides this one stairwell. Makoto, look! The gate blocking the stairs is gone! It would seem that path to the second floor is opened up! But it's also the utmost importance to double check the areas we already know about, just in case! Aren't I so clever to think of that? I really impress myself sometimes! Well, with the school to you! The gate that was blocking the stairs has been opened. Is this what Monokuma meant by a new world? If so, what's up there? Monokuma's a really big Aladdin fan. Yeah. This is the second floor of the school. Maybe there's some kind of clue here. Yes, I'm sure of it. There's gotta be something here. Also, just for the viewers... Yes. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, we're good. For the viewers' sake, at home, uh, Gabe has seen up to the second chapter, but doesn't know anything about after that or any of the other games. So, we in it, boys. And I just wanted to ask Gabe, who do you think yep. dies in the third chapter? Okay, so I know who dies in the second chapter. Third mm -hmm. chapter, it's not. I'm not that lucky, so it is going to instead be... God, it better not be Sakura. I like Sakura. Okay. I'm not going to lie. So, before I ever played the games myself, or even, like, saw a certain point, like, even before I rem- I don't know. I don't know why I thought this, but I thought the person that murdered the person who dies in the second chapter was Sakura for a little while. I- I was bugging, let me tell you, I was bugging. I don't know why I thought that. Little well, spoilers, that's not. Oh, speaking of... I see. Well, I mean... Oh. This must be what he meant by a new world. What was that? I don't know what that was. I should probably take a closer look around. The baby is sleeping. Shh. 86 coins. That feels good. Probably not more than two in one room. Most likely not. <laughs> okay, I've checked everything in here anyway. You know what I don't like about this game? What? One of the very few things. Some rooms, when you see a door, it'll be your exit. But then some rooms, when you yep. see a door, it'll be another room. Yep. And it never, there's no distinction on what is what. Like, I wish they wouldn't have put doors in that you can leave from and just give you the R option. That way that if you see a door in a room, you know it leads somewhere else, not is the exit. Because this room is a fucking perfect example of that. Yep, I really thought this wasn't... I thought this is where it came from. Yeah. Kind of irritating. <sighs> oh, shit. You yeah. haven't talked yet. I forgot. I also just read that out of my head. It's remarkably dusty in here, and the lighting is less than ideal. 
for a library. It's not the kind of place I'd want to do much reading in. Yeah, I'm absolutely shocked! How come? They have all these books in here and not one copy of any of my works! Well, yeah, why would they have comics in a library? Plus, most fanfic is just porn drawn by a bunch of amateurs. Dogen's, Actually, fanfic is, yeah. Dojin. They're talking about Dojins, but that doesn't translate to English. There is no English word for Dojin. You just don't get it! Not at all! <laughs> I'm facing that! I, I do, <laughs> you get it. <laughs> oh, she gets it, alright? <laughs> and with a face like yours, anyone can tell nothing you do is worthwhile. Say whatever you want about me, but never judge a book by its author! Nothing. Now hear this! Appearances mean nothing at all! What you see before you is nothing more than a rhyme that contains the me pulp of my genius! Oh. My creations are what determine my meaning and value! <laughs> You're so full of it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm used to being misunderstood. You think weak attacks like yours would drop my HP? These two really worry me. I hope it's him. I really do, because there's two characters I don't like at this point. Like, Is actually, it him and Yas Hero? Yes, it's yeah, those two. Yeah. Like, I can handle Byakugan. I hate but he's Byakugan. He's a douche, he's a douche nozzle. He's stupid, and I don't like Kafumi, but I fucking vehemently hate Byakugan. Listen, Byakugan, I and hate Yas him. Hero. But I like that I hate him, because we need a douche nozzle to keep things going. Hey, Fumi, oh my god, you're just a fucking pervert. What even was that? Moving on. The shelf is packed tight with books, but looking at it, the whole thing is incredibly dusty. It looks like the library's been neglected for a pretty long time. Even though it's a prestigious high school, they've been pretty careless about keeping it nice. For noticing that, we got money. The shelf is covered in dust, but on the shelf is a letter. What's this? Hope's Peak Academy. Indeed. It was buried under a thick layer of dust. It must have been sitting here there for quite a while. Well, shall we see what's inside? But we shouldn't read other people's mail without their permission. Is that right? What we shouldn't do is leave this here without finding out what's inside. Okay. I broke the seal in the dusty envelope and pulled out the single sheet of paper I found inside. I unfolded the paper and read what was written there. From the Hope's Peak Academy Execution ex Executive Execution. Office. Execution! <laughs> Damn, I almost gone to you. I did the same thing the first time we read that. Throughout the years, we have committed to, a s to shaping the youth who will one day shape the world. We have a long, proud history as an institution of higher learning with full governmental support. Our graduates and society ready to take on active leadership roles in every major job field. However, Hope's Peak Academy has now lowered the curtain on its glorious history for the time being. This decision was not an easy one to make, but serious issues beyond their control have made it necessary. I'm making a mistake, this is not the end of Hope's Peak Academy. We intend to reopen our doors as soon as the issues forcing your closure have been resolved. That being said, this is the end for now, and I would like to personally and sincerely thank everyone for your help and support over the years. For now, we are awaiting official government authorization to formally cease operations. What does this mean? <laughs> the contents for this letter are quite interesting indeed. It would seem Hope's Peak had stopped functioning as a school. And judging by the amount of dust the letter had collected, it doesn't seem to have happened recently. If I had to guess, I'd say this letter could be at least a year old. So you're saying Hope's Peak closed down at least a year ago? Most likely. The mastermind took over the abandoned school in order to put on this little performance. But that would mean it was closed when I got here just a few days ago. I didn't get that sense at all. Plus, if the school had been shut down, don't you think it would have been in the newspapers and stuff? I mean, you're saying it could have happened over a year ago, right? But before I got here, I looked up stuff online about the school and never saw anything about this. So, in other words... Then it must have been all part of the Mastermind's plan. They lured us all in here. Someone who could create a space to judge and execute people could potentially be capable of anything. Hmm. Of course, that's all assuming this letter is real. However, if it is real, though, that does solve one mystery surrounding the school. 
the reason that there are no other students here could be because the school had already, already closed down. Hmm. That would be nice, simple solution if it's true. But then, what about this other part? The decision was not an easy one to make, but one serious issue beyond our control made it necessary. I already read all this, it doesn't matter. What do they mean by serious issues? There's apparently why the school had to close. Is there any connection between that and what's happening to us now? If the two events are in fact connected, uncovering that connection could, would be a useful clue on top of figuring out the mastermind's motive. Although I can't really say any more until we find more detail. So in other words, only the mastermind knows the truth right now. The mastermind's motive. If we can figure out why they would want to impress us all here, will that be enough to get us out of here? Or... You that's might pretty, be pretty happy. No, oh mine. shit, that's you. Fuck, I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, you didn't read it for a while. I thought it was me. I was drinking. <laughs> I was expecting hard to talk first. You must be pretty happy to have all these books around, huh, Tucko? Not particularly. Nothing's really caught my attention so far. Mm-hmm. Indeed, there's a plethora of books, it's true, but the content seems lacking. No, Where's the comic books? Where's the young adult section? Mm -hmm. Comic book. <laughs> Younger girl, get stuck your wasted time. I see what you write, Miss Fukawa. Tempted as you are, your stuff isn't any more than any more worthwhile. What the my my stories are filled with true love and pure feelings. Don't compare to them to that good garbage of yours. Your writing doesn't even mean anything. It's just a bunch of jumbled up letters. Someone should just burn it all! <laughs> oh, the lady doth protest too much! Me thinks! I bet you're secretly into boy on boy action! B -b boy on boy? I don't care if it's an anime or comic or fanfic or whatever! I'm telling you! It's so filth! Throw it in the culture and I'll be crushed and forgotten to have a decade! Yeah. Talking about it makes me sick to my stomach. I feel like I'm gonna grow up. <laughs> you've insulted me, and now you've insulted my honor. These two are really starting to freak me out. I've never seen anything like it. Well, at least they're having fun. I, I mean, I guess. Also, got text. <sighs> There's Mr. Popular Pants over here. Alright, give me just a moment. I'm gonna figure out what's up. What? I'm gonna figure out what's up because I got a text. Are you recording? So I'll be right back in a moment. Okay, have fun.
Okay. Alright, I'm back. Hello, ma'am. What's up, scrub lord? I decided to look through your channel to see if anything in your, like, popular video list had me in it. Not a single one of these has me in it. <laughs> Oof. Yeah. Wait, what ones are on there? Well, your number one is Sonic and the Black Knight. Yeah, of course it is. Alec. And then more, and then the end, John Redfield. More okay. Sonic, Chris Redfield. More Sonic, Sonic. Sonic, Hyrule Warriors. Do they not like me? Is it my fault? No, it's not. I I honestly think some of the things that we've done were actually really freaking good, but they just weren't Sonic. <laughs> Sonic's more popular than all of us. Let me sort by oldest. Oh, your first video was the Pokemon Mystery Dungeons. Kind Not, of. I wasn't even in it yet. No, you were in partway through, like halfway to three quarters. And uh, also, that was technically my second series, but I redid the first series because it crashed halfway through. The shelf is packed tight with books. Looking at it, okay. Yeah, already been read. There's a thick layer of dust on top of the desk. It looks like the library's been neglected for a pretty long time. As, an, as nice as the school itself is, whoever's in charge of upkeep has been pretty lazy and strange. Hmm. But still, the library is the most interesting. Huh? What's interesting about it? Oh, nothing. I was just thinking out loud. Let's find this door. It's some kind of archive. All I saw in there was stacks of old books and files. I can't imagine what business you would have in there. That's true, I don't really have any reason to check it out. But I could. But what he a won't douche. let me. But I could. I think there might still be more to look at in here. Is there? The laptop, isn't it? The laptop in front of Kitty Kitty? Oh, I didn't see the top in front of it. It looks like a laptop. The laptop looks pretty old and it's all covered in dust. Also, she was looking at it. It's pretty rude of me just to butt in. So. It's broken. I tried pressing the power button earlier, but nothing happened. Oh my god, she's part of the IT team. <laughs> Jeez, damn. <laughs> Press the power button and turn it on. It's, it's broken. broken, huh? Too bad. I was hoping I could use it to go online and see what's going on in the outside world. If it's broken, there's nothing I could really do about it. I feel like there's so many we could ask about that. Nah. Okay, I really got another... So each individual bookshelf is a different entity. Got it. Yeah. Unfortunately. Just like the laundry room. The laundry to be room or is not a mistake. To be. You are mistaken. Reality oh, isn't everything. God, you just remind me of really... Eh. What? Nothing. It's just friend me of Game Grub's quote. <laughs> Only one coin either way. It's sad. Rip. I mean, we still had like 86 from the trial, so. And I think everywhere else has reset because we're in a new chapter, so. I've gone to everywhere I could downstairs at the moment. Yeah, because it wouldn't let us. Hmm. Go oh. into the pool. Yeah, I know. That's the last place I can go. I guess I can try to go downstairs to see if I can interact with things before events happen. You give me the same BS lines about a whole new world. I didn't set you up for that. You set you up for that. The dazzling place I've never been. Just a second! <sighs> Oh, Makoto, hey, guess what? Guess what I found? A pool! There's a pool here! A pool! Pool, pool, pool! You don't have to keep repeating it, I got it. And there's a ton of exercise equipment in the locker room! Sakura's gonna go nuts when she finds out! They are my favorite lesbians. Yeah, you're right about that. 
Hina seems way more excited than usual. It's not a real gun. It's not like we're at war here. Why would we need something like that here? She really hate the girls' bathroom. Locker room. Whatever. You know what I meant. There are a bunch of different pool related items on the shelf. Looks like one of those lifesaver flotation donuts. Donuts? Mm. Donut? Donut. <laughs> he's been hanging out with Aoi too often. Yeah. Alright. Well, let's uh, start with worst. <laughs> this second floor has opened up. The living area has grown, and a number of facilities are now available. Whatever else is going on, I must admit things have been made much more comfortable for us. Right, the uh, sauna and the and the yep. living area is open now. If things continue like this, the occasional class trial may not be so bad. <laughs> hmm. Alright, now Aoi, because okay. she is great. The locker rooms connect to a pool. It looks super nice and big and fantastic to swim in. Literally me. Uh, I'm beyond excited right now. I can't wait to dive in. I love the pool. In fact, I'm getting kind of mad thinking about it. Why are you getting mad? And now here's the precious one who deserves to be hugged and protected. Hey, Chiro, have you checked out the pool yet? Um, no. I don't like wearing swimsuit. Yeah, you why. seem like the type who might not be into that kind of thing. But still, it sounds like the locker rooms here have all the exercise equipment you could ask for. Maybe I'll give it a try. I'd kind of like to get a little stronger. You want to get stronger? I have to say, that's kind of unexpected. Yeah. But I'm not even brave enough to step foot into the locker room. Oh, you don't even want to go in the locker room? It's not that I don't want to, it's just... I don't get it. Is she afraid of locker rooms or something? That's a pretty weird phobia, though. Yeah, are you judging her? He is so dense. Yeah. I wasn't trying to interact with the gun, I was trying to interact with the camera. There we go. Alright. Um, you can inspect the panels, yeah. I was doing that. Card reader. Both of them are different things, so... Behind this door is the locker room. This is the girls' locker room. This is fine. A true gentleman will respect our space, yeah? Is this some kind of card reader? I wonder what it's for. Behind the store is the locker room? Yeah! Oh, and I guess you need your handbook to get into the locker room? Really? Of course! <laughs> really, really? If you want to unlock her, unlock her the locker room, you have to swipe your personal e-handbook across the card reader next uh -huh. to the door. However, to ensure maximum security within each locker room, only a boy's handbook can open the boy's locker room, and the same goes for the girls. And that's the bottom line. Um, but what if someone opens the door and then someone else sneaks in? Anyone who commits such indecency will be punished without mercy for their scandalous sexual depravity. See? That, there's a cat on getting out in the scene, yeah. right? And it'll be all ducka 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 ducka. Just a second. I bet it really hurt to get shot by that thing. Yeah! Um, you got No, I... Yeah. Um, no, I think it'd be a little worse than that. Hmm. But what happens if someone loans their handbook to someone else? A boy could borrow a girl's handbook and that would get them into the girl's locker room, would it not? What? That never even occurred to me! To think someone could be so low, so cowardly, so devilish. Mm, okay, then how's about this? Time for a new rule. At this moment, loaning your e-handbook to another student is strictly pro prohibited. There, so no, nobody can give their handbook to anyone else, right? You like that? I'm kind of a genius, right? Because it's my brain is 100% cotton. I do not imagine anyone would have lent their handbook out in the first place. Is that okay? After all, they would likely be held responsible for anything that person might do with the ham. So, um... 
But, you know, that... You seem awfully concerned with all this locker room security stuff. Of course! It's because all you teenagers are sex-crazed maniacs! You're at the age where you tried humping a plastic bottle! So to try to keep anything unseemly from happening, I have to maintain a rigorous watch. <laughs> Then in that case, I would ask that you keep the same close eye on our dorm. If some man and some woman decide to share a room, there'd be nothing to stop them. <laughs> All I care about is protecting the holy image of the school itself. I don't care what happens to your private dorms. By force or by cunning, do whatever you want. I hate you so much. See ya later! Okay, so the new regulation's now in place. See ya! Man, that stupid bear totally ruined my mood. Maybe I'll go take a dip to cheer myself up. <laughs> Where are we gonna do that? Celeste, Tahiro, you wanna come with me? As for me... There's nothing I hate more than getting water on my face. Let me guess, she's covered in makeup, that's why she looks like that. Uh, I'm sorry. Poker face. Sorry, I'll pass this time. <laughs> Gabe, I'm gonna cry. What? It's snowing. It's amazing. It's October. Oh, no, it's November, but still. Yeah, the fuck are you talking about? It's November. It's That's the time November. when it should start snowing. No, it's not. It's still fall. It's not even winter eh, yet. Yeah, yeah, and guess what? The snow is falling. <laughs> also, spoilers for when this was uh, recorded. <laughs> because this is probably not coming out in November. Who cares? I dated the video. Wow. Yeah. How come? When you're in a funk, there's nothing better than a good swim to pull you out of it. I'm pretty sure that only applies to you. And me. Anyway, now I have a, good, a pretty good idea what's going on in the second floor. But I didn't see anything on my way to... Excuse me. Any kind of exit or anything. All I can do now is hope someone else found something worthwhile. Okay, I better head back to the dining hall as soon as possible. 